Hi everyone, it's Andrew here from Cosmo and today we're looking at new tone, specifically the custom parameter feature here, which are these four small rotary knobs, A, B, C and D. And these knobs actually control aspects of the model that you've equipped. So in this specific example, we've got the Rave Choir model, which is a timbre transfer model. It takes one input sound and translates it to another kind of sound, in this case a choir-like sound. So this model has exported four different parameters here. And these parameters have been assigned at the SDK wrapping level. So when we export a model for Newtone, we use our SDK. And if you have a particular neural audio model that has different parameters, you can assign them there. And then these are found by the Newtone plugin and displayed on the hover over of each parameter. So the input material that we're using for this example is a synthetic drone sound. I'll let you listen to that first. And you can hear how that's translated to a choir-like effect with this model. So we have these four different parameters. Let's see how they manipulate the sound. So the first one, chaos, adds randomness to the, the latent vectors. Let's see how this sounds on the output. As you can hear, it's quite a drastic difference as you increase the randomness and the sound gets more sporadic in nature, I would say. So as you can hear there, as we play about with these different parameters, we get a lot of different textures and variation, which gives you a sort of sense of control of this model. We have the same sort of parameter exposure for different models, part of our online browser. So we can also have a look at some DDSP models here which have pitch shift, harmonics, mix, noise, and reverb. We can also have a look at the Rave Violin model, which also has similar uh, parameters exposed as well. So you can hear how that affects the generated sound. So I hope this demonstration has provided more insight into the custom parameter feature of Newtone. If you want more information, feel free to have a look at the examples on the SDK on GitHub or check out our Discord for more information and resources there.